this video, I want to talk to you about natural solutions to improving energy. I'm Dr. Joe with Two Minutes to Better Health. Now, first of all, wouldn't it be great to be on a beach right now? A few of you out there might be, but most of us are not. It's freezing outside. And it would also be great to be on a beach running and jumping with excess energy. So let's try to understand where energy comes from. I'm going to look at Einstein, pretty smart guy, right? So he said E equals MC squared. Does, do you know what that means? Well, energy equals my coffee squared. Uh, actually, I don't think that's what he meant by that. I think it had something to do with some other science. He has another quote I actually want you to look at, which is energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So where does energy come from? Well, the food that we eat. You are what you eat. So the food is the primary generator of the energy in your body along with a few other things. Okay, so look at this refrigerator not looking like the healthiest of foods in the world. So if it's going to make energy, okay, it might make some, it's gonna give a little boost of energy, but soon thereafter, the person's going to end up like this, exhausted on the couch, trying to digest this mess of food that's been put into the body, and they will be tired. And then later on, they'll wake up, okay, but they'll still have that fatigue throughout most of their day. So to understand where energy comes from, you also have to understand where it's depleted from. So as we showed in that slide, digestion is one of those big things. When you put not so healthy foods in your body, digestion is working very hard to digest that. It, it works you know, taking a lot of energy to digest all food, but the worse the food, the more the energy is gonna be used to break it down and it's gonna burden the body and fatigue settles in. Two, emotional stress. We all know that emotional stress is bad for us, but it causes our body to be in a sense of, of worry and it actually puts its energy towards the brains trying to figure out what's going on and it can't figure it out, so it keeps running, depletes major energy. The brain uses upwards of 25% of all the energy in the body, so when the brain is occupied doing things, you don't have energy to go out dancing and having fun with friends. Right now, we can't do a lot of those things, but just getting through your day doing the things you want to do. Lack of oxygen and movement. Movement is key. Many people think you deplete energy when you're moving and active. It actually causes you to improve your oxygen use, which is necessary for making something called ATP. And that is the primary energy maker in our body. So oxygen is huge. Disease, illness, pain, physical stress. Each of these, none of us wants them, but any of them are depleting the body of its energy resources to go towards doing things we want to because it wants you to rest, okay? Excessive body weight. We definitely don't want that. Most people are trying to lose weight, and of course, there's a lot of health benefits to that. But the more body weight, the more your body is working to carry that extra body weight, depleting energy. So anything done to decrease body weight is fantastic. Hormones, insulin, glucagon, all right, these are key. Insulin is a hormone that's used when you have sugar in your body. So insulin puts the sugar into storage in your body, in part in the liver, but mostly as fat stored up in your body. So it's storing energy, but it never dips into it because it's never getting away from sugar. All right, so glucagon is a form that when you're not eating sugar, you're eating proteins and fats, it will dip into reserves of energy, giving you a more perpetual ongoing amount of energy. Poor sleep. Sleep is when you heal, so obviously more sleep you get the better, but not like 10 and 12 hours a day, but seven to eight, nine hours a day is perfect. Dieting, lack of calories. Too little calories slows your metabolism, and it's going to cause you to go into starvation mode, and you will actually lose energy. Major body functions will reduce energy going towards them, digestion, thinking, okay, all sorts of different things, and an immune system, a big one actually. So lack of calories, bad thing, it's gonna actually lower your energy big time. Toxicity, chemical stress. Toxicity Awareness Month, toxins cause your body to feel poisoned. It's working hard to try to get rid of that. It's like constantly trying to clean. Steals mega, mega energy from the bodies. So anything done to decrease that is super helpful. Transform in 21, that's our event. Look into that, uh, detoxwiththedocs.com. We love to try to promote that and encourage people to detoxify. So great thing to do there. And then sugar, sugar, just like that refrigerator we showed, the more sugar and the more processed foods you consume, the more you're gonna spike your blood sugar with the insulin, it's gonna draw that sugar out, then you crash half an hour, an hour, two hours later. So sugar is the biggest offender for sure in terms of having low energy. So low sugar diet is fantastic. Detoxification is fantastic. Do the opposites of these things. Take the stress off those body systems and you will have more energy. So thanks for watching today. I hope this was helpful. Share it with some friends and family, and we'll see you in a future video. Have a great day.